Well, as you saw earlier, San Antonio Mayor Ron Nirenberg and Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf just wrapped up a news conference where they updated us on the current cases and the current state of COVID-19 here in the county. Our Dylan Collier was there. Dylan joins us now live. Dylan, I know that some new numbers were released tonight, but we've also talked about the fact that Metro Health doesn't seem to be releasing as much information about the cases that we're seeing in Bear County as even some other counties around the state. Did you get a chance to talk to the county judge or the mayor about that in particular? We did ask the mayor about that, Steve, and it now appears that Metro Health is also behind in terms of at least getting that data and putting on a map for the public to see. We, again, we still have not seen any sort of mapping publicly on the cases. Uh, 120 confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Bear County as of today. 42 of those cases are from community transmission, which is more than a third. Five deaths. That was the same figure that was given to us one day ago. So that at least is a positive sign. Uh, we were told during this briefing that cases will likely spike in the next few days because testing is being done on a wider scale in Bear County. And a lot of results from previous tests are now being made available to Metro Health. I did ask the mayor about why mapping of these test results in San Antonio appears to be in some places at least a week behind other locations in Texas and this was his answer. And I don't know the answer to that frankly but I do know that the Metro Health and the Public Health Authority is addressing it right now. Uh, I'd have to refer you to them but we are we are pushing as hard as we can on federal, state and our local uh, folks here to give us as much transparency in the data. The, the truth of the matter is it's been difficult um, in some cases because of the lack of testing uh, data, uh, but as we get more tests back, it, it, it w we need to be seeing more of the analytics, including mapping. And to go just a little bit more into that, yesterday, Metro Health Director Don Emmerich, Dr. Don Emmerich, said that they had a lot of data back. They were working on an internal dashboard that would show them mapping, uh, but that had a lot of health information that they couldn't make public. She was pressed on when the public information would be put out there, and she said they're hoping to have it by next Friday, which appears to be one week from today. And again, we'll continue to press for those numbers in terms of what parts of San Antonio are having the most positive test results come back, and whether there are any parts of town or the county, for that matter, that have an increased risk for exposure at this point. Steve, ECs? Very interesting.